today uh, we will solve the problem 4.3 chapter 4 uh, Griffith uh, third edition uh, quantum mechanics basic concept and applications uh, the problem 4.3 is uh, contained two part part one is suppose uh, psi which is a function of r theta and phi is equal to a e power minus r over a uh, for some constant capital A and small a. Uh, find the E and V, uh, v of R, assuming uh, that V of R is it tends to 0 as R tends to infinite. Then next part is do the same for uh, A equal to, sorry, psi equal to A e power minus R square over A square, assuming that V of 0 is equal to 0. <clears throat> now uh, we will see the first part uh, the Schrodinger equation in spherical polar coordinate is uh, minus h cross square over 2m del squared psi plus v psi is equal to e psi, where del squared is the Laplacian operator. Here in the wave function, uh, it depends only on r. Uh, so the Schrodinger equation become, uh, uh, just you take the radial part of the Laplacian alone, because it does not depend on theta or pi. So this will be reduced to minus h cross squared over 2m, uh, 1 over r squared uh, partial uh, derivative uh, with, uh, we have t with uh, dr, uh, r squared uh, delta psi over delta r plus v psi plus uh, e psi. Uh, now, first we will uh, calculate this term, that is, uh, which is a given in square product, uh, sorry, square bracket that is 1 over r square delta over delta r r square delta psi over delta r. So this will become 1 over r square delta phi delta over delta r r square. Here I am uh, differentiating the wave function a e minus r over a. So if you differentiate that you will get uh, uh, e power minus r uh, over a. Of course, if you uh, differentiate this uh, minus r by a, you will get uh, minus a. So, minus 1 over a. So, the differentiation of this uh, wave function a, e power minus r over a will become minus a over small a, e power minus r uh, over r. <coughs> Just now we got this expression that is in the right hand side we got 1 over r squared uh, delta over delta r r squared minus a uh, capital A over small a e power minus r a. If you differentiate this r square, of course uh, here minus a by a is a constant you can uh, take outside the differentiation. So this will become uh, minus a over uh, small a 1 over r squared then uh, partial derivative t over t r you see. Uh, t over tr r squared e power minus r a because here you have r square and uh, with this exponential term uh, now you first differentiate r squared you will get to 2 r and this exponential term uh, so then uh, you keep r squared as it is and uh, differentiate uh, the exponential term you will get r squared e power uh, minus r over a uh, 
multiplied by minus 1 over a because this is uh, uh, minus r over a so r minus 1 over a you will get this now you just carefully go through this a is outside the bracket a times this exponential term will become uh, psi so i have taken this psi. i have taken a inside so the first term will become uh, a uh, uh, this exponential term will become psi and 1 over a r squared uh, uh, if you take uh, 1 over a r squared, that is if you divide the first term with a r squared, then r r will get cancelled. r squared, uh, r will get cancelled with this r squared, so you will get only r. So this will become, uh, already there is 2. So this will become 2 over a and 1 over r. Of course, this a, a times exponential term will become psi. Uh, then as the second term minus of minus will become plus and the a times this exponential term will be psi this r squared and this r squared will get cancelled so you will get here one a and here one a that will become a squared so this will become plus one over a squared psi uh, so if you substitute this in the Schrodinger equation uh, that is the radial part of uh, Laplacian operator uh, then you will get uh, minus uh, h cross squared over 2m uh, this term. Instead of 1 over r squared, uh, delta over delta r, r squared, uh, delta psi over delta r, I have replacing this. Because just now we got this. So plus v psi is equal to e psi. So uh, we got the expression, arrived at this expression. Now I am just rearranging the term. I am bringing this uh, first and I am taking psi outside. So then this will become uh, minus h cross squared over 2m. This 1a squared I am taking as a first time. One, uh, 1 over a squared minus 2 over a uh, multiplied by 1 over r. I am taking psi as a common plus b psi which is equal to e psi. Uh, now, according to our problem, if r tends to infinite, uh, then uh, v equal to 0. So, when r tends to infinite, the second term inside the square bracket will become 0. Similarly, when at I, r equals a equal to infinite, the potential will be 0. So, these two terms will get cancelled. So, we will get uh, here in the right hand side, e is equal to this one minus h cross squared uh, over 2m of course uh, inside the bracket you have a squared this is the energy eigenvalue for this problem uh, we have seen the solution um, for energy eigenvalue if r tends to infinite if r is a finite then what will happen uh, we got this expression minus h cross squared over 2m 1 over a multiplied by 1 over a squared minus 2 over a into 1 over r psi v psi uh, e psi. Uh, if r is uh, finite, assume this is finite, uh, then when r is a finite one, what, uh, what is this first term that is minus h cross squared 2m a squared, this one. Just now we have seen it is equal to the energy eigenvalue E. So this E on the right hand side E will get cancelled. So naturally V, v of R will become minus this one. Uh, minus H cross squared over 2M A R. So this is about the energy and uh, uh, potential. And now we will see the next part. Next part is... And the next part is to the same for the wave function psi equal to a e power minus r squared over a square assuming v of 0 is equal to 0 that is when r equal to 0 the potential will be 0. So based on this condition you find the energy value as well as the potential value uh, energy eigenvalue and potential. So uh, the uh, Schrodinger wave equation is uh, uh, when wave function depends only r, 
the radial part of the Laplacian operator is, you know, minus h cross squared over 2m, just now we have seen 1 over r squared delta over delta r, r squared delta psi over uh, delta r plus v psi, which is equal to e psi. Uh, now you take this one r squared, you keep as it is r squared, and you differentiate this wave function. If you differentiate the wave function, you will get uh, a, uh, a e power, I mean, a e power minus r squared uh, over a squared. Then if you differentiate this r squared, you will get minus 2r, and a squared will come in the denominator as usual. Now, you, uh, you, uh, you can take as usual as we have done in the previous case, minus uh, a over a squared outside. So, a, uh, minus a over a squared. Uh, then, uh, already there is 1 over r squared is here, 1 over r squared. Now, you differentiate uh, uh, t over tr, uh, this term. That is, you have 2r here. If you multiply this with r squared, you will get 2r cube. And this is the exponential term naturally. If you differentiate this, uh, then uh, of course uh, we have taken minus a over a squared uh, because it does, it does not depend on uh, r, it is a constant. Then 1 over r squared. Now you differentiate this term. If we differentiate uh, this uh, 2r cube, then you will get uh, 3r squared. Already there is 2, 3 to 2, 6, 6 r squared, and I am keeping the exponential term as it is. Uh, now you keep uh, keep uh, this uh, 2 r uh, cube as it is, and then you differentiate uh, this e power minus r squared over a squared. If you differentiate this, uh, what you will get? You will get uh, 2 r, already there is 2 here, so 4. Uh, already r cube also here 2r will become uh, 4 r cube of course there is a negative sign and here uh, there is a a squared so that a squared will come here so now you got this expression just uh, what i am going to do is i am going to rewrite you bring this a inside uh, a times this exponential term is psi so first term will become 6 r squared psi and the next term uh, 4 by a, a squared r power 4 and this exponential term multiplied by this a is a wave function psi so we got this one now so just now we got this expression you bring the uh, second term first so here minus of minus will become plus uh, 4 here 1 a squared here 1 a, a squared so 4 over a power cube and here 1 r squared in the denominator and here r power 4 which will become r squared uh, so r squared first uh, the second term will become 4 uh, divided by a power 4 r squared psi and uh, what about the this term minus because here is a minus minus uh, 6 over a squared, this a squared. Here already one r squared is there in the denominator. You have r squared in the numerator. Both will get cancelled. Uh, so you will get uh, 6 over a squared psi. Uh, then the Schrodinger equation will become minus h cross over 2m and you take this one. The radial part of the differential uh, Laplacian operator then you will get 4 divided by a power 4 r squared minus 6 over a squared psi plus v psi which is equal to e psi now you bring this h cross uh, squared over 2m inside the bracket so the first term 2 and 4 will get uh, cancelled this will become 2 h cross squared already r squared is uh, here uh, then m a power 4 Similarly, the next term, minus of minus will become plus, there is 2 will get cancelled with this, 6 will become 3, and this h cross squared 
uh, then m is here this a squared will become here so m a squared psi plus v psi is equal to e psi according to the given problem if r is equal to 0 uh, then uh, v equal to 0 that is here the r equal to 0 first term will become 0 so you can uh, remove it and uh, when r equal to 0 uh, v also equal to 0 this and this will get cancelled so which implies e is equal to uh, 3h cross squared over 2m sorry 3h cross squared over m a squared this is our e uh, then if r is not equal to 0 then uh, what will happen to v of r is given by you take this expression here uh, then when r is not equal to 0 what will happen to the first term uh, sorry, second term. This is uh, 3h cross squared over ma squared is e. Uh, that's what we have seen here. Then that e and this e will get cancelled. Uh, so then v is equal to, if you bring this to right hand side, v of r is equal to uh, 2 times h cross squared r squared over m uh, a power 4. So, we have seen the energy term as well as the potential term for this problem. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.